Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Bridges Anaji and I'm glad to have you here. Let me ask you a question. What is the worth of the Nigerian Naira? Yes. Supposing you have a millionaire seated in your account, how much do you think it's worth? Do you think it's really worth that much or it's worth little? So in this video, right, I'm going to be showing you an amazing revelation. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, I would like to so that whenever I make awesome videos like this, you'll be the first to watch and make more informed decisions about your finances. And also to help the YouTube algorithm push these videos to awesome people like you. So now that you've done that, let's go into this video. So what's the worth of the Nigerian money, right? The Nigerian Naira. Is it worth that much? So I know you are familiar with words like inflation, CPI, and uh, inflation rate. So I'm not going to be bugging you with all that. But for for clarity's sake, let me just go through some words. So what is inflation? So basically, inflation is the increase in price of goods and commodity over a period of time. Then inflation rate is the increase in price of goods and commodity over its period of time, thus reducing the purchasing power of money of a currency so basically what is purchasing power you're like okay what is purchasing power so purchasing power is basically what money can buy what money can buy so this hundred thousand era so what can hundred thousand era buy understand is the purchasing power so if you can use this hundred thousand era to buy say um say a laptop say a laptop or or a phone or or a shirt so that is referred to as purchasing power so basically that's just what purchasing power is right so how do you determine so how does inflation affect you and i so i know if you are lucky and you have you know elderly people you will be hearing amazing stops like during my time pujo was um in the brand new pujo was for eight thousand euro and now that same pujo is 10.2 million era we asking what happened you remember like back in 2010 2011 like cbn produces five naira notes but now they no longer produce five naira notes you, you'll be wondering what happened in 2021 cbn no longer produces 20 naira notes 10 naira notes and five naira notes but you'll be wondering these notes are not officially bound by C cbn they are simply affected by the purchasing power so basically five naira can no longer buy anything in nigeria so basically that's just what it means so the purchasing power of five naira ten naira twenty naira fifteen naira are relatively zero so with before with uh five naira you can buy sweet but now with five naira you can buy nothing in nigeria with ten naira you can buy pure water but now during this season in abuja pure water is relatively ten naira now so you see inflation is what is affecting all this so you'll be asking so how does this affect me how does it affect uh the money i keep in the bank but well this is the shocking revelation right now at the end of every year you understand the inflation rate for nigeria is about 18.6 percent what that means is that if this is a hundred thousand era, if I save it in the bank by the end of the year, now the purchasing power that what this money can buy has reduced by 18.5, 18.5%, which is very, very bad. You may not really understand the financial implication of that, but let me explain to you. Now, if I save this money in fixed deposit, the bank will give me 6% at the end of the year, right? Or at the end of every three months, yeah. Or if I invested in treasury base, the banks will give me um, 10% at the end of the year. So what that means is that, or three years, at the end of three years or six months, depending on my plan, right? Now what that means is that by the end of every year, right, I should have gotten 110% uh, of, at the end of 2020, if I did save, start saving from January, right, I should have gotten 110% of my investment. But this is what actually means. Now, in in, in the recent, I have 110,000 euros. But logically, now I've lost the value of my money by 18%. That is 18,000 euros. 
So this money, when I'm going to get that money, you understand? My 100,000 and daddy are still going to give me cash, you understand? Ooh, the purchasing power would have reduced by 18%. And this is very, very bad. So what that 100,000 I can buy, like as of January, would have been what uh, 88,000 naira will buy right now. So basically, that's how bad it is. So this is the thing, like globally, uh, inflation rate is about 2.9%. That is, for example, if you are from countries like United States and uh, you and your friend, out of adventure, you go to space S, right? Over a decade, it's about 2.9%. So, so the inflation rate over a decade in most countries over is like 2.9%. So basically, what that means is that if you you and your friend are very very adventurous and you are at space S, right, and you mistakenly launch your rocket and that rocket shoots you to the moon or to Mars, right, and you survive there for ten years, what you buy for hundred dollars, right, when you get back, that thing would have increased by two point nine percent. That means you are buying it for hundred dollars. $202.99 so basically that's what it is but the narrative is different for Nigeria so let me run you through simple thing now so over last week I went to the market right to price 9 mm rod like for a client and it was at um, 2800 and um, and I went back a week later and it was you know 4,800 so um, so that leads us to a very very important uh, thing called CPI so CPI is simply consumer price in there so basically is the cost of averages the average price of cost over a specific period of time so for that road I got you know the price as um, as at 2800 and now that is uh, 4000 4200 so to calculate the infl inflation from within one week is going to be the current price man of pri old price all over the old price times 100 percent so inflation rate is actually major in percentage so it's uh 4800 so 4,800 minus, minus 2,800 over 2,800 times 100%. So that amount is going to give you the inflation rate over one week for iron rod. So for, <laughs> for, 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 for stories like that of my dad that got, you know, um, Pujo for 8,000 era, 8,000 era in 1956, right? And now that same price is, is 10.2 million era. So to calculate the inflation rate is going to be 10.2 million minus 8,000 percent. So that is like the inflation rate for price of brand new produce since 1954 till now. And so why is this thing like this? Why does our currency keep losing value? Well, basically it's because the Nigeria, we are a, a consumer nation. We don't produce nothing. Uh, everything we do, it's, it's, it's solely uh, from China and all that. Nigeria has been like one of the greatest, you know, exporter of palm oil. Now, Indonesia came to Nigeria in 1946 to export um, the dollar tree. You'll be wondering, what's the dollar tree? A tree that grows, you know, dollars? No, but the dollar tree is the palm oil. Now, but now, Indonesia is the, is the highest, is the largest producer of palm oil. Um, in the world, why Nigeria producing like the 3.3 metric tons of palm oil annually? Why Nigeria produce barely 0.9 metric tons of of oil annually? So what that means is that before 1946, there was nothing like palm oil tree in Indonesia as a whole country. They came to Nigeria, took the dollar tree, and now they are the biggest in the whole world. So. So what this means for you as an entrepreneur is that it's either you quadruple the any part of this, you understand, so that you can match up with uh, the rate, or you invest in business. You don't keep this. Whenever it comes, you find a business 
that will keep multiplying this so basically that's the catch thank you for watching i remain richie sanaji and i'm glad to have you here cheers